year. Um, there were some other factors in the budget that we noted, I noticed that changed throughout. So um, our overall net increase in revenue was 493000 And then the expenditures, with all of the changes that have taken place um, with the cuts that were made in items, things, I took those into account to reduce the expenditures by a million dollars. We also had a larger fund balance than originally predicted. We, instead of the 57,000 fund balance, we had 846,000 fund balance. So now our ending fund balance um, is still in deficit, but instead of 4.5 million, it's 2.1 million in deficit. So that's the budget amendment that, that I would like you to adopt so that we can send it with our DEP plan. Uh, Penny, one question on that page. You have down 2015-16 projected. Should that not be 16-17? Well, it was the 2000, it should be, but that's, yes, yeah, I'll fix that. Because that's, yes. Yeah. Sorry. So, at Finance Committee, we talked about some specific things that um, we've done to um, cut expenditures. Yes. We, for the expenditure cuts, we cut the ROTC program, which saved us approximately $200,000. We cut two counselors, which was another $170,000 roughly. Um, we then cut some teaching staff at the secondary level. Um, we cut some clerical staff in addition to what we previously cut. Um, I think what the other things I said. Teaching. That that was all in the original budget, correct? On the projected in 16, um, in June of 16. So the additionals were the the cuts that we made after the beginning of this year. And those total about a million dollars. And the reason for the difference in the fund balance? The reason, well, we came in better for the audit than I projected. And there were a lot of things, when the auditors come, there were things that we just didn't spend. Um, line items that were projected, obviously utilities came in less than we'd project because it wasn't as cold last year. Um, then workers' comp came in lower than we'd projected. Unemployment came in slightly lower. So different aspects. But once we have the audit, I'll go through those in more detail so that you can know exactly where we saved the money in 1516. And just a clarification, if um, the Wayne County Enhancement Village passes and they wanted to fund for Taylor, uh, one that was city, that will take us out of deficit. If the Wayne County Enhancement Village passes, it would take us out of deficit, yes. The one for the city is, uh, what the, our bond millage is not necessarily directly tied to these expenditures. There are some expenditures that we could remove because right. obviously, but it would not be the full right. million. Um, just because we have some budgeted monies in there for technology, and we also have some facility repairs budgeted in there, that those could come out. Okay. Very good. Motion? A motion by Mr. Zorn is for Mrs. Delaney that we approve the budget amendment as presented. Is there any discussion on it? Requires a roll call. I just want to say okay. thank you to um, Penny and your staff and all the time that you put together with this. This is not where we want to be, but this is actually where we're at, and we have to go from there. So mm -hmm. thank you for all your hard work, and, and when we move forward, we should be um, growing and, and taking care of and being responsible with our, our guests. Thank you. Any other discussion? Somebody's roll call. Mr. Honeycutt? Yes. Mr. Masters? Yes. Mr. Myers? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Dwayne? Yes. Mrs. Ron votes yes. Mr. Riley? Votes yes. That passes 7 0. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you. Next item, please. Can I just say, too, thanks to Ben and Marianne for coming in. And also, you guys were a huge part of this, and I misspoke and didn't include you and your staff and our union people and everybody that's given um, of their time and, and their salary so that we can be where we're at. Thank you. Actually, I think all of our cabinets spend quite a few nights once they will see 
very clever. Yeah. So we appreciate the work that they put in. And, and, and um, I think that helps you guys both being new and seeing where we're at and talking to people. You just really had to jump into it and spend a lot of late hours, um, the whole cabinet. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exciting. 11.01 closed session. I don't think we have one, do we? Um, are we, uh, I'm just going by, uh, uh, just some talk in the district, uh, are we, uh, sixth grade academy's closed, are we cleaning that building every day? Do we have custodial in there every single day working? Okay, that was my gift, if, go ahead, yeah. There, okay, if yeah. they split out of there, they still have to do a lot of, um, it's not, they still have to maintain some cleanliness, it's not cleaned every day, no. They have, there's still a lot of stuff to inventory, they still have to cut grass, and come this winter they still have to do snow, and now I'm hearing that they want to use the building for certain things that have come up, so that's going to require, so. Um, every, that's still up in the air, but yes, there is someone there part-time. That's a split. They're, they're, I think they're there two hours. Or how many, I guess, my next question is, how many people do we have there? Because my thing is, if I have a one. bedroom that's not being used, one. So just one person's one. there? Okay. Two hours a day? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know I was, you know, I don't, I don't know what those other requests are. I know I, I was... Uh, approached about could we utilize the gym for additional practice space once we get winter sports and I said that's not a good idea because then again what's the point of closing it mm -hmm. so I said no to that well, I don't know what other uses might be out there but you know we can you know if, if there's a need for something obviously we look at it on a case by case basis so. okay and that's uh, I was gonna say can we get a, a, a kind of an update of what they um, what they want to use it for so See, part Marianne, of the, you part may be of the aware. problem, too, is that when the furniture was moved out, the nicer stuff, well, guess what's coming back in? The old gotcha. stuff. Gotcha. So they're, they're trying to keep track. The important stuff is all in inventory, but there is so much junk over there still on. Excuse me. Items over there that they have to go through. Gotcha. Thank you very much for answering that. One of the other activities that was in possible brainstorm session, but it's certainly not anywhere close to coming to fruition, um, Nan Kuhn, who is our um, parental engagement advisor, was looking for a space to be able to house uh, comparable to what she's called the um, literacy luau. And so it's an outreach where there are several vendors that come in, a mobile dentist, there are all kinds of different people that come to be able to help our community and typically um, she would like to have done it at Kennedy but the time that um, it's scheduled to have that happen is right in conjunction <coughs> with um, exams and a half day and so one of the things that we tossed around was the possibility of, of doing it at the sixth grade academy for a one-time wonder but that was only in its infancy stage and, and discussion stage so there's nothing that we don't know but is there room at the like career center or anything for something like that? Nan, is that a reopening? Uh, that's on the list to discuss. Okay. Um, I know that a representative from maintenance and Nan toured the building just to sort of get the specs, and we have to get back together to look at other options as well. All right. Thank you. I also have just a quick one. I attended the Taylor Teen Health Center meeting um, um, this morning, and um, Kimber Dorton was there from the city and. You're going to be sending flyers, and um, I'm not sure, Marianne, are you continuing to approve flyers in the district that go to the schools? I am. Okay, because so I gave her your name and your number and just said that that was the process. But Perfect. trunk or treat for the city, she wanted it known, is not going to be on Halloween night. It's going to be October 28th um, at Heritage Park, and so she'll be sending out a flyer and um, to you in discussion. <coughs> 
And then she also wanted it um, uh, just, uh, just announced that they are having a winter festival. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so a lot of people might be gone. But they're looking for um, community-related um, groups that might want to participate, such as bands and our school organizations. Um, and there's volunteer opportunities for that. That's where they're going to do the tree lighting, carolers, vendors, um, horse and carriage rides in the park, and a parade. So if we have student groups we want to highlight that want to be part of the parade, um, I also, again, gave her your name and asked her to call you on that. But she asked that we announce that so people can be prepared. November 26th? Um, this, uh, yes. My usual. I'm just asking for the BAMP authorization to hire and or recall the needed positions. We have a meeting on Wednesday um, with TFT to go over the numbers in the classroom uh, student enrollment. And uh, there's a couple of positions that we held off on, on doing recalls. And uh, one of them was the Howland for fourth grade. And then we had two people who have resigned. And so <coughs> we wanted to, to see where we were at with our numbers on Wednesday before doing any recalls. So I know that our next board meeting will not be until October 10th. So I would hate to not be able to recall those people, especially if they were working somewhere and they wanted to. Same question I normally ask, which is, is the names already print previously? Yep. The position, oh, yeah. pardon me, the positions yeah. previously yep. printed. Yep. How on third, fourth, there's a gen ad, and I'm not sure exactly where this one was that I didn't pull it right the And then there's a special ed person who had resigned from Taylor Burks. So those are the three main ones that I want to get. Do we have very many on layoff? <coughs> uh, we had a handful. I mean, the, the, the real question is, did, do they have other employment, and would they be able to return? Because contractually, they don't have to return. So. Motion to support the authorization. Or, wait a minute. We had a motion in the process. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Master, did you make that? Will you yep. include that in your? motion that Mrs. Tulane supports that. Okay. All in favor of approving other one, accepting other one? Aye. Opposed? That's a 7-0. Next item. 14.01 adjournment. Motion. 